What's up, everyone? This is Hassan Shabon from Sacred Life Connections Health and Wellness, coming at you with another video. Today's topic is Napoleon Hill Success Principle Number 16, Budgeting Time and Money. And before we get into the video, let's take care of some housekeeping. For those who are new to the, new to the channel, if it's your first time stopping by, we ask you that you will subscribe to the channel, like and share the video, all that helps the uh, algorithm. And if you've been here many times, still like and share the video. And if you haven't subscribed and you've been here many times, hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up. And uh, without further ado, but one more thing, before you, before we go into the video, I want to invite you to a free confidential health analysis, health consultation, health coaching session. Contact me at Hassan, hassaniski at gmail.com. Set up a date and time so we can have a free consultation where I go over you privately one-on-one, -on -one, confidential, and we discuss those things that will help you get on track for your health so if you need a coach you need to uh, need, you need coaching you need a um, consultation on on your primary and secondary foods and understanding what that means and what that is contact us at hostelandskillgmail.com and we'll be more than glad to uh, set up a free confidential health coaching session so now let's go into the video As we said, the title is Napoleon Hill Success Principle Number 16, Budgeting Time and Money. And these are, there are 17 success principles. We got one more. After this, we have one more success principle that we're going to talk about. These success principles can be found in the book, They Can Go Rich. And if you want to listen to the book, Think Go Rich, there's a link to that in the, the in the bottom at the bottom of this video. We have a link to that. We have uh, Napoleon Hills. Things Go Rich, 1934 edition, which is the original edition. So feel free to check that out to learn more about the success principles. He goes more in depth about the success principles in the book, Things Go Rich. So let's look at budgeting time and money. The Pauline Hill states, effectiveness in human endeavor calls for the organized budgeting of time. For the average man, the 24 hours of each day should be divided as follows. Eight hours for sleep, eight hours for work, eight hours for recreation and spare time. The successful person budgets time, income, and, expend and expenditures, living within his means. The failure squanders time and income with a contemptuous disregard for their value. So let's look at that one more time and we he says effectiveness in human endeavor calls for the organized budgeting of time. And he suggests that we divide the day up into three parts. Eight hours for sleep, eight hours for work, Eight hours for recreation and spare time. It goes up further to say, the successful person budgets his time or her time, budgets their income and their expenditures. They live within them within his or her means. The failure, the person who, who is a failure, the unsuccessful person squanders his time, his or her time. 
squanders his or her income, and they have a contentious disregard for the value of their time and their income. So to be successful, you have to have regard for your time and your income. So you budget your time and you budget your money. A lot of people budget their money, but they don't budget their time. They don't take the time to sit down and figure out their day, schedule their day, try to get that eight hours of sleep. You need that sleep. You need eight hours of sleep if possible. You need to have time to unwind. So eight hours of recreation and spare time. That gives you a time to unwind from eight hours of work. You shouldn't work no more eight hours a day. If you work seven days a week, that's great. Get you 56 hours. But don't work no more than eight hours during a regular day. Try to keep it at eight hour range. But if you need overtime, work the weekends. That's just a suggestion. We suggestion this. It's not a mandate. But you would feel better if you took time when you got home, when you go, when you get home from work to unwind, to relax, do some recreation, go for a walk, get you 60 hours of, of 60 minutes, I'm sorry, 60 minutes of continuous movement. Do that when you get off from work. So try to work eight hours during the day. Eight hours for sleep, get your eight hours of sleep, and then have your eight hours for recreation, to read, to think, to ponder, to exercise, etc. So, we should value our time and our money. Remember that both time and money are finite, as much as we like them not to be. Prioritize your time and money. Know what's a priority and what can wait. Split up your time and money into things that need to be taken care of immediately, those that can get done during the week, and then long-term priorities. Time management is the process of organizing and planning how to divide your time between specific activities. Good time management enables you to work smarter, not harder, so that you can get more done in less time even when time is tight and pressures are high. Now, look at a budget. What is a budget? A budget is a plan you write down to decide how you will spend your money each month. A budget helps you make sure you will have enough money every month. Without a budget, you might run out of money before your next paycheck. A budget shows you how much money you can make, I'm sorry, how much money you make, how you spend your money. Now, the question is, why do I want a budget? You want a budget because the budget helps you decide what you must spend your money on. You can spend less money on some things and more on other things. A budget helps you decide that. For example, your budget might show that you can spend $100 on clothes every month. You might decide you can spend $50 on clothes. You can use the rest of the money to pay bills or to save for something else. So a budget helps you decide what you can spend your money on and how much you can spend on items. So remember that a budget is needed because time and money are finite. I mean there's only there's a limited amount of time. You don't have you don't have all the time in the world. So you need to budget your time, budget your budget your finances. Although we live in an infinite universe that is infinitely abundant, you still want to take, you want to be a good steward of the Creator's wealth. So you want to budget the wealth. Don't waste your wealth. Budget the wealth. Budget your wealth, budget your time. Don't waste your time, don't waste your money. So until next time, we hope that you enjoyed the video, got some out of the video, the video was, uh, the video was of value. Check us out. Periodically, we try to put videos up two to three times a week, sometimes more. So check the channel. Hit, hit, that, no hit that notification button to be uh, notified when we, when we put a video up. So 
Subscribe, like, and share. Until next time, we're out. Peace.